Hello, welcome, welcome to Yarn Lane. Yes, completely different studio, different presenter, different everything. Uh, we are the only channel, shopping channel in the UK, that is dedicated to everything yarn, whether you're knitting or crochet or whatever, macrame, the works, we do it. And uh, we've had um, knitting looming, the other weaving the other day. It was fantastic. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, before I go any further, please have a look at the website, www.yarnlane.com. And then what you do is you click on watch the show live. Oh, now, now, before we go there, are the world exclusives on there? Because we need to be careful we don't show them. Right. Okay, right, so here we go. <coughs> this is everything that we have got today. So look, we've already started playing things through there. Those, I'm going to show you that both of those straight away. That's on today's show deal. And then if you go to pre-order, actually don't go to pre-order, don't go to pre-order because I've got three world exclusives later on and that I don't want you to see just yet. So as we play these, you, you can go to pre-order now and have a look. I just don't want to show them on telly yet. But anything that I've got on the show today, including these gorgeous little stitch markers, which I'll show you in a second. Oh, they're going already. They're going already. Uh, let me start, let me start, let me start. First of all, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank How are you? I'm fine, thank good, you. Good, good. You're, you're looking very perky today. Am I? Yeah, <laughs> don't know what it is. Anyway. <laughs> We've got a uh, beautiful, what, are they, what do we call these? They're lightweight... Lace weight scarf. Lace weight scarf, that's it. Kits. Lace weight scarf. Now, last time you were in, they were incredibly, incredibly popular. So we've got three more new colours. We've, we've repeated the old ones and we've got three brand new ones for you to see today. So we'll start with this one here, which is called Blackberry Pie, which is your favourite, isn't is it? This is my favourite. Oh, on pre-order, this one's selling the fastest out of all of them. Now, this is lovely. Look at this. So now, this stitch is beautiful. It almost looks gothic, this one. It's like, I think it's like arches. I get it? arches, like gothic Arch, arches, yeah. yeah. So what you get in your kit, you, to make this scarf, because all the, all the scarves have different, different stitching and different knitting and things like that. So that's that one. Now, they are all made from this yarn here. I'll just show you this. So it's 100% lace weight, 100 metres, blackberry pie, and it's Murano, is it? Merino. Merino, even. Falklands. Merino. Uh, now, the Merino comes from a special sheep that is bred in Spain, and they're very good for their wool, but no good for their meat. How do I know that? I don't know how I know that. <laughs> anyway, beautiful colour. So you get in your, in your bag for your £24.99. Now, this is enough to make that scarf, isn't it? It's and longer. And longer. And longer. It's beautiful, the colours. It's just beautiful. Now, just take me through this. So when you get this yarn, it's cream, isn't it? It's totally cream. Totally cream. And then you dye them yourself yep. to all these different colours. Colours. That's gorgeous. How have you done that one then? It's a speckled one. Speckled. That's this. This is speckled, isn't it? Where you're throwing. <laughs> yeah. Out, yeah. Out your little shaker. Quarter of the stock of these has gone already. You can see bits of little cream there. No, no, but I think that's nice. It, it blends in though. Mm. When you're knitting it, it has you like little patches on it, which you'll say. Beautiful. And so this, this one here is 100% merino. Merino wool. It's beautiful. Lace and what ply is it then? It's more like a three, two ply, I think, lace okay. it is. It's very, it's very, lace it's light. So could you only knit something like this with it? You can knit anything with it. Okay. You just have to go move your stitch count or go to oh, okay. your size needle. It's on a four millimetre needle I use for this. Four millimetre needles? You can use, you know, a larger needle, but you obviously you'll need more yarn. Be of course, of course. I think that's beautiful. It's really pretty, that one. Uh, we've got four millimetre on the website, underneath us on the website today. That is gorgeous. And what kind of stitch is this? This is a... I think you knit two together and you yeah, you've got your yarn forwards and you knit threes and you slip one and you knit two together past each one each is like slightly different, isn't it? Each it, one's got it, a different stitch count. Stitch yeah. count to it. Beautiful. So that's that one, which is very, very, very popular. I'll put that one down. Oh, you want to see it once more time. So you get the pattern and you get the uh, the yarn. Beautiful. And all the yarn, even though they've got the same colours, they're all going to be slightly different, aren't they? Because you've hand dyed all some of these. Some might be slightly lighter, some might be slightly darker. Yeah. It, it just depends with speckles that sometimes they bleed together a little bit more, you know, when it's wet. So you don't get the true, whole, lots of speckles, as you'll see later on yeah. with me secret ones. Oh, yes. 
Not secret, world exclusive one. So that's <laughs> that one, that's that one. I love that knit as well, that's beautiful. And everything on the instructions are there about what you have to do, first row, pearl, second row, all that. It's all there. It's an eight row pattern. So you just repeat it over and over again till you you get to the end of the wool or you can stop at any time after eight Oh rows. yeah, of course. And 81 stitches, that's the width of the scarf, is it? Um, so it's cast on 81 yeah, stitches. Yeah, right? you cast on 81 stitches you, and you get that width. When I've blocked it, you'll get, you know, it stretches out. Um, half the stock of that one's gone already. So just to be, it's one of those days today, I need to warn you. <laughs> right, okay, so that's that one. Which one are you doing? Morelands, that one's called Mor Morelands. Oh, Morelands. I kept what you think. No, Molan. No, Morelands. Morelands. <laughs> Sorry, Morelands, yeah. <laughs> Next. The sundown the one. The sundown one. Sundown one is this one. So let me show you this. Now, I recognise this stitch. You do. Can you, from when? <laughs> I don't I, know when, but I've I recognise know. it. <laughs> Teapot. Teapot, the pink one. Yes. It's the mock cable. By what? The mock cable. Yes, what yes. I did on the but doesn't it look different in the, in it the does. lace work? It does. But I recognise, as soon as you brought it out, that's why I said, oh, we've done these books, I yeah. recognise that stitch straight away. So now this one is called um, sundown. sundown. In the bundle. You get the, 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 the instructions and you get... Now, this is soft. This is like kind of soft and kind of... Salmon-y colour. Yeah. It? Do, it's, it's a light salmon we, it, we use. Like salmon, is it's it? It's a I, salmon colour we use, but because we leave quite a lot of the cream, it's like... Yeah, light. no, it's beautiful. So that bundle will make this scarf. And again, a lovely stitch detailing there. Oh, 84 stitches on this one. 84 stitches. <laughs> how do you know how many rows you have to do? Or it doesn't. I just, just go until I, I just, yeah, I use about three quarters of the ball of the, the wool for this. Okay. When I've caked it up, I use three quarters of it. So there is ample to stop. Uh, oh, but then on this one, you only do four rows and There's then you repeat. Four, yeah, four rows yeah. repeat on that one. Oh, how brilliant. Now, this says use a cast, if using a, cast off using a larger yeah, needle. Yeah, I always, the end? yeah, because um, it, I've got a little sample somewhere. When you cast it off, it goes, I did this one, and it goes very, very tight when you cast off with the same size needle. Oh. So it pulls it right oh, in. Oh, of course, yeah. So what I do is I go up to a, six, a five millimeter needle or a five and a half millimeter, and I cast it off, and you will actually get it like this edge where it's uh, a lot looser yeah so if you do it on the same size needle it'll all pull in it pulls in that's what i did to show yeah. this oh, i'm showing you yeah, i should be this way <laughs> but you can see the difference if you pop it down on the table oh there you go you so the top you see the top side of that is how it should be and then the bottom side is the one where you've done it too tight and it kind of curves in a bit doesn't it Perfect. So this one I say is called Sundown. Again, you get the, the yarn, merino is, wool, yeah. peach sorbet, 100 grams of lace, weight 800 metres wool, it's merino wool. Beautiful. It's so soft, isn't it? It's lovely. It's lovely. It's so light lace. Mm. It's very nice, especially for spring. Yes, exactly. But then you see, you say, say for spring, but then in winter, I can imagine if you really kind of knot it up, it can create a lovely... Because the thing about wool, it keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the... Yeah, warm in the winter, yeah. doesn't it? It's lovely. But it's another speckled one. We've gone for two speckles this Yeah, time. now that one's a more subtle speckle, yeah. isn't it, that one? Just a few little... Little dashes about. Dashes of that one. Okay, let me put that back in there. So that will make that one. We'll call that one teapot, but it's actually called sundown. <laughs> it is. Then the last new one... Oh, lots of people coming in for that one. Lots of new customers coming in for that one. That one's still the most popular, but oh, lots of people coming in for that one. <laughs> I remember if you've already shopped with Sewing Street today, it's the same PMP, so you don't have to add any PMP. So this one now, this one's a bit more bold. This one is called Raindrops and Roses and Whiskers on Kittens. Oh, how apt for today. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? The, the yarn is called Spring Bouquet. Um, now that looks, that's not speckled. It's a dipped one. It's right. a bit similar to the one I did last time. You yeah. Know, this one, but ju we've just changed it for pink instead of the blue but and then it this, comes out this that way it's like stripes isn't it yeah it's stripes but also i love the, it's kind of got stripes in the pink and the green but then it's also got the stripes in the knit going in a different yeah. direction on a, uh, um, on a, a di diagonal di yeah. diagonal and this is a dipped one so we have it like oh so you've literally just, just taken it and dipped it in pink and then gone the other end and done it, it the in other the way now, pink and green are the two colours, like they say, you should put them together. I, I did um, a dance costume when I was at college in pink and green like that, and it always works really beautifully together. But 
Now th they're gorgeous shades. That green is like like crisp apple green. Apple isn't green. It? It's gorgeous. And again, look at the knit on that one. So where's the where's the instructions there? Oh, now this one's totally different because this one is you row 10 the repeat is 10 rows on this one and the stitch count is shorter on this one it's 62 stitches this time oh yeah and yet they all look the same size yeah. but i it's love more that. open i think more stretchy that yes. one so now if i had this pattern and made this one and thought oh i want it in a different color there's nothing for me to stop me buying a hank of wool no. as long as you use the lace weight as long as if it's lace weight you can do any pattern any color in lace weight yeah that's beautiful that almost looks like the edges scallop they're, well. they're like little spikes aren't they yeah oh the yeah, yeah they are. if you look if you lay it flat you see it oh that's gorgeous that one that was very delicate that one anyway so that's what you'll get if you get the uh raindrops and roses so where, what makes you think of these different titles <laughs> It's hard to think of names. I'm not used to naming anything, so now I have to, every time I think, oh, I've got to think of a name, and we sit there for ages thinking, <laughs> thinking of names. The Merlins came quite quick. Yeah. Um, one of my friends on the internet named this one as Sundown. Um, I don't know where the raindrops and roses no? come from. Well, you're obviously watching Sound of Music on the telly. It's like, <laughs> oh, let's do that one. Okay, so they're the three brand new ones. Three very popular ones that you had last time you were here. That was the first time we'd ever introduced it to you, but they were so popular, we brought three of them back. Right, Cottage Garden. There's no talking telling me a name. What's the, which colour is that, it? The pink one, the vintage lace one, that one. Cottage Garden. That's the popular one last time. Yeah, Cottage Garden. Now, those colours in there are beautiful. Let me just show you the finished thing. You see, isn't it weird? It's all the same yarn, isn't it? But this feels thicker than Raindrops and Roses. That's Isn't it weird? It no, is. I don't mean thicker in a, in a derogatory way. No, it feels no. like a, not chunky, that feels like the, like spider's web. Yeah. Or maybe it's because the way it's knitted and yeah. there's, there's more it, stitches. Does that in feel, because it's a four row pattern, this one, the same as the sundown, does it feel the same? The peach, no, the sundown. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Because it's a four row pattern, the other one's more open. Oh. I wonder if that's how to do with it. But that's the one I brought the baby cardigan last time I was telling yes. you the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one what sold very, very well. Beautiful colours. Now, so this one is called uh, Vintage Lace. Now, is this speckled? Oh, it's okay. It, it. Yeah, it's a speckled one. It's um, with it. Do you have to wind them off? Do they come to you in these sizes? Or they come like wind? that, yeah. Yeah. And they come like, wound up like that. I'm no good at that. I'll leave yeah. it to somebody else. <laughs> yeah. I make a mess just of it, as, well. as you can see. And then we just, you know, yeah, you un unravel them we, and dye them. Yeah, we unravel it like that and then we'll let it go on the board and it gets sprinkled on and then we put the heat to it. And then when it's a nice day, it goes on the washing line oh, to dry off well, the kitchen. It's frozen at the moment. And, uh, it's on, a, on the kitchen radiator. But usually we can get them dry. If it's a nice day, you can get them dry within a day. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely. That's gorgeous again, that one. So that one is called your Vintage Lace Pattern. You get the pattern and you get that um, really beautiful... Oh, fewer than 20 of these. Now, these have got splodges. These have got, like... Brown, walnut. But thing. now, wait, the sprinkles look like it's kind of almost dyed. Because the yarn... Are they bigger sprinkles? Then? It's when the yarn's wet, it, you know... It spreads. It spreads. Yeah. Sprinkles are hard to do. They're very, very tricky to get through speckled yarn. Yeah. You f you'll find, like, there's, you know, it's not proper... Splodges. Moss splodges. It depends on how, probably, how wet the yarn is as well. <coughs> Excuse me one minute. Oh. <coughs> Practical. But it does actually spread into the wool. Down to single figures those now. Down to single figures on that one. I'm not surprised. They're all beautiful. I don't know how you choose. Are you choosing on colour? Are you choosing on the way they're knitted? Because they're all knitted differently and they're all obviously different colours. Right, which colour next? I can guess that's that one. That's that one. Apple Mint is this one. Now this one's obviously um, the dye, dip dyed, the, the dipped isn't it? one, yeah. Now let's have a look at this one then. Oh, I can't read these patterns. <laughs> I haven't got the pattern for that no, one don't, with don't me. Worry. I can't help don't worry. You. So this one. Is it a ten, eight, ten row one, if I think about it? You see, now that one looks it's like a, a leafy, a leafy pattern on that one. Let's just see if Emma can go. There you go. Look, 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 look. 
It's beautiful, isn't it? I love the fact they're all they're all different. So actually, it, on my table here, I've got six completely different. Because what a lot of people do is they go, oh, this is the pattern. You can have it in purple, yeah. orange, or yellow. So they, every single one of these are different. So you're not only choosing on the colour, but you're also choosing on the pattern. I think that might be one of my favourite that one knitting. I might I might like one of the other colours better, but I like that the leaf leaf sort of it'll, shape. Yeah, it'll work in you know that colour or yeah. this one. Oh, now, so to do that effect, it has to be a dip one. Could you I do could that do in speckles? In a, you can do it in a speckled. I've not tried it in a speckled, but, but it, it just looked different, by, won't it? It looked different. It looks nice in the two colours. So in this one, it'd look nice in a two colour one. Or this, this one would look nice. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the world exclusives that I might quite like it in a minute. <laughs> oh, they're four ply, are they? Oh, they're, they're not four ply. These. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, I can make something else out of those. That's fine. OK, oh. so if you're going for the... Um, Falling Leaves, which is this one called. Falling Leaves, and the colour was mint and something. Apple and mint. Apple Ap and mint. Apple mint. Oh, now that, that's got... Oh, it's a different one, then. It's a different because they've used pink on that one, and the more, this is more similar greens, but yeah, just yeah. this colour... But the green on this one here is more it, intense than the green on that is. one. Beautiful. Let me put that in there so it, I don't get on the The difference will go like that. Then the final one of these is this one. <laughs> Oh, Which like again this. is I like this one. Hmm? I like this one. I love I love the fact that, that again you've got a completely and utterly different knit there. So this one's called raindrops on roses. Oh no, that one's raindrops on roses. That's raindrops oh on no, roses. don't get the muddled up. This one's raindrops. raindrops. That one's raindrops on roses. Uh, lemon blossom is this. So now that looks like a mixture of dip and sprinkle. It is, and it's the colours for this year as well. This um, one, the pink and the grey. Yeah. But yes, it's um, you can say yeah, it's dipped at either end and then nice big. How many different colours have you got? How many tins? Three. Of, no, Three. no, not in there. I mean, in, in your in your kitchen. Dyes. Yeah. Oh, tub, tubs full. I've just got a new um, buying some new dyes, and we've just got they're down the road from us, so we've got uh, been there twice for some more dyes. Oh. But now we have um, just some big tubs of them. The grey, we have very big tubs of it. Yeah, oh, the yeah, grey yeah, yeah. is the very popular one, but we can we put grey with anything. But now, I'll, I, this is my favourite. So that's very clever how you've dipped it at both ends. Well, dipped to the yellow in the middle and then two grey at the end, and then just splattered it. And splattered. Sprinkled. I think sorry. it's twisted, this one. Sometimes we twist them. Oh, what, while you yeah. sprinkle it? Yeah. So if you the thing is, there's so many things you can do, aren't there? Are there right. any that when you do them afterwards, you think, oh, well, we shouldn't have done that. That's yeah. horrible. Yeah, we do. We usually have a, they're not seconds. We usually try and sell them a little bit cheaper. They're just not quite what we think but then, they are. But, but then you see something that you think. Somebody else does somebody like else any girls. Somebody else it and go, oh, I love that. I love that. So you just yeah. never know, do you? You don't really? know. There's nothing wrong with them. It's no. just not what we want for that, what we're yes. trying to do. Or if we're trying to recreate something, say, because we do small batches. So if we do five of these and then I want another five they're never ever going never to be, be same, unless no. They're, no they're slightly maybe a little bit lighter or that the scarf there this one is a little bit darker to yes. this one is a bit lighter yeah. because I felt it was you too got a bit heavy handed that I thought it was too dark there oh okay so you deliberately did it lighter for the for our but bu for our bundles then yeah I ch we changed it because I just thought it was just a little bit too dark. The lighter version would look nice. Yeah, beautiful. Really, really nice. And I also, I think, I mean, I love this knitted up, but I think if I saw that in a shop, I'd be a bit frightened of that in in it's, the wool like you've yeah. got it there. And yet when it's knitted up... It's very subtle. It's really subtle, but it doesn't look subtle in your hand, does it's it? It's nice in a jumper, this one. Yeah. Beautiful. Right, now, something else that we've not had before... While you're all making your mind up on your scarves. Oh, stitch markers. <laughs> right, so these, I've got six here, stitch markers. Oh, no, seven. Oh, I've got six. I've got seven. <laughs> um, but uh, they sell in sets of three. Now, they are completely random. You can't pick the colour that you want. But look, 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 look. It's like a little crystal ball with tiny, tiny, tiny stars in. And then it's got um, a lobster claw yes. and a ring pull. No, not a ring. Um, split jump, a jump ring is jump it? ring. Jump that's ring oh, with I a had to learn all this in jewelry making. Fourteen millimeter clasp it is. So just fit on your knitting needles up yep. to a certain size. Oh wow! And also when you're crocheting and you're crocheting in the round, you know when you're knitting these yeah, yeah, crochet yeah. toys, I like to, I like the bigger clasps because they're yes. easy for me to open with open my fingers. Up, yeah. That when we do it like that, we can just pop it on and clip it on. So we can, we clip it on. 
So when right. you're going round and round, you know you yeah, start yeah, with yeah, your yeah, rope, yeah, yeah. and then you can also pop them on your need on your knitting needles, and you have your knitting in. Or you can wear tree. them as earrings. Put them on a hoop. Wear them as earrings. Put as them on your necklace. Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, so now they come in as a set of three. How much are they? Eight ninety nine. You get a set of three. Now they're random, so you, I can't tell you which colours you're going to get. But on my table, I've got like. Uh, hologram lilac, I've got lime green, I've got gold hologram, I've got pink, I've got multicolored, I've got apricot, and I've got white mother of pearl. I've got silver, pink, green, black, blue. Just leave, just drop them on the table so um, we can get um, a close up of yours. And as I've well. got a few more other colors, I think, at home. Oh, as there's well. even more colors. I've got this. a huge tub full of them. With so you literally, when some an order comes in, you just dick your hand in, get three out. Yeah, it'll just be random. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. How many, how many stitch counters do you need normally? How many would you have? If you're doing socks, you'd want, if you're doing socks on circular needles and you want to mark, you, you just need one. If you're okay. doing knitting, like my willow shawl and you have a stitch marker in between, right. you just want two. Or, you know, if you want doing so something. So three's perfect. So really, three's though, perfect. You have more than one project on yeah. the go. Or people have socks and something else on go. So. Yeah, but I'd like to buy those and have them in a bowl. And even though you're only using one or two, they've got gorgeous colouring. They're to lovely. This is a lovely little yellow one. Look. Very yeah, you can't have a favourite because everyone will want your favourite. No, I know. There, there are, there, I don't have a favourite. <laughs> they're all random. <laughs> Half the stock of today's stock has gone already. I'll just see if there's any questions. Bernadette said, so I got the vintage lace from last time. Beautiful yarn. Not started as yet. Doing baby born bits. Lovely items, love from Bernadette. Um, the colours are beautiful too. Um, beautiful yarns. Um, Samantha says, that, what a lovely show. Thank you very much indeed. Right, before I go any on anywhere, I'm just going to put them in there. the absolute favourite, Blackberry Pie. That's Moreland's, isn't it? Moreland's yep. Blackberry Pie. Absolute Oh, single figures of this one left now. So what you get in here, I'll show you, I'll show you the finished thing. I love, I do love this. I suppose I like this one because it's very like that leafy one as well. It's got the kind of arch, I don't know if you You've can see You've got it wrong way around. <laughs> That's it. There you go, there you go. Can you see that? You can see, it's so beautiful and delicate, isn't it? So you get the uh, yarn and you get the instructions. And that one's um, an eight row repeat, that one. Just beautiful. And then this is the yarn that you get, merino wool. It's called Blackberry Pie. And this is your favourite as well, this isn't it? This is my favourite today. It's lovely, isn't it? it the is. way, so that is that dip dyes are all speckled. It's that one. speckled. All this speckled. One, all speckled. We've got the blue and we've got the purple. And then oh. the, we've left cream. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Lovely, that's isn't it? That's it. Oh, it's two left once you've all checked out. Two of those left out, left over when you've checked out. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's flown out, isn't it? Even halfway through the show. <laughs> right, see ho. So put that bit there. It's what's, our, what's the second favourite, in case people miss out on that one? Oh, Sundown and, Sundown and Raindrops and Roses, both in second place. At level pegging at the moment. We'll keep you updated. We'll keep you updated. <coughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to do some knitting. We can do some knitting, what we're, I can just... Do you want off. a pattern? I've got one here. <laughs> My glasses are and here. And then we'll talk about blocking as well. We'll talk about which, which blocking as well. One shall we do? Shall we do the mock cable? Because the mock cable... What's called? What's that one called? It's this that one, sun, the sundown one. Yeah, we, get a little confused now. Mock cable, sundown, I'll peaches and cream, sti teapot. stitches on. And the then needle. we'll do blocking after that. Yeah. We'll do the blocking bit, yeah. Obviously, the one with the, th the thread we use, the, the yarn we're using is a different colour. It's all hand out still. Yeah. <laughs> um... So, just let me whip some stitches on. I've been trying to make some things for the next show, so there's a lot of knitting oh, to do crazy. for the next one. I've got a cardigan on my needles. Oh. Well, I've a needle, I think. That needle looks a bit bent, the one on the oh, table. Oh, it, do you know, I'm knitting on three millimetre needles at the minute, and it's about like that. So it's oh. very fine with the, the four ply I have. But Notice yes, the my needles, needles are all under the armpits. Under the armpits, so I'm just going to cast on. All right. A few stitches, oh. and then I'll just have to. I should have had it done, but. Oh, don't you, worry. You run out of time, though, when you, you know. I've been trying to get one step ahead because there's quite a lot of knitting for the next show, and whether I'll get it all done. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. So you just cut. So on the I'm instruction, casting on. Well, you're not going to cast on the board. I'm not going to cast on 84 stitches. I'm just no. going to cast on, so because I know roughly the stitch pattern is 3 3 for the. It's just the. Um, 
the past slip stitch over a row far what I want to show because... Yeah. But you only actually need to know how to do five different stitches to do that you thing. Do. That, One, two, from three, the abbreviation, four, yeah, there's only five. five stitches there, aren't there? There is. And everybody knows the basic knit and pearl stitches. Yeah. What do the little stars mean? Oh, you I can repeat, repeat. Yeah. You repeat the, in between the stars. So you'll start off at the beginning of your pattern is you knit four. Yeah. We don't do that again. Right. Then and then just we start do... from the star. So we do the pearl one, yarn over, pearl one, knit two together. And then we'll repeat it back to the pearl one. Right. So, and then we'll, until we've got two stitches left at the end. And then we do the little knit two at the end. So. So what do you want to show on this one? Sorry. What right. I'll have to just do. Do a few rows. I'll just do some basic, yeah, rows. It was just the um, row four because um, when you get going, yeah. I pull the, the stitch over the first, I knit three stitches, but I pull the first one over the other two stitches. Oh, you've lost me. I'll, I've lost you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll lose myself. <laughs> we knit three stitches and then we'll pass the first stitch over the other two stitches. Right, got it. I it's that. To make that little, you know, little bit on yeah. there, you'll, you can see it on the pattern, like a little arch thing. So I'll knit. My, knit three stitch it. I'll just knit the first two. Yeah. Then we'll knit three. Yeah. I'm not going by the pattern. No. So we knit three, and then with the I've probably got it a bit tight again. I ain't got point. You'd really I could do with pointy needles. We pull the first stitch over the other two, and right. it, it crosses over. So we'll knit th knit three again. That's that. And then. Once I've done the row before, you'll you can see it on the pattern that it actually pulls it over the first two, oh, the other yeah. two stitches, and it gives you that little ridge on the on there on that one. So we do three again. Isn't it incredible that just by sticking two needles through a bit of wool and just where you put the yarn and everything can make six yeah. completely different patterns, Pattern. can't it? And then you yarn over is I'll show. We'll show that one. So our yarn over is basically you just go over the needle, yeah. but don't do anything with it, and then the knit the next stitch. Oh, that's not even a it's, stitch. It's then, not. Yarn it's over. not. But it just makes like a loose, it, a loose little bit, which is like a little hole yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we just go over the needle, and, and then, then we just on. knit one or knit three, yeah, knit yeah, yeah. five. So we just go over the needle for yarn over. Oh. And then we do a knit two. And then yarn forwards. What is does that mean? Go backwards like that, yarn okay. forwards. And you can do it that way, yarn forward, knit one. So you can still do it the same way. Yarn overs and yarn forwards are more yeah. or less the same. It's just moving your yarn back or yarn round the needle or yarn forward. It's back. just getting getting used to the, 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 the stitches, terms of it, yeah. It? But the yarn forwards and yarn round needles are more or less the same stitch. It just makes a little like little hole type thing. Yeah. But it's, it looks like you know, a hole, but it's a hole yeah, made not a hole, you drop it's, the stitch. Yeah, yeah, it's a proper hole. Yeah. And then you've got your knit two together to do a bit of decreasing. So you just uh, knit well, two stitches together. Yeah. Like that. Brilliant. All right, talk to me about blocking then. Blocking? Yes, please. Right. I don't, don't go mad on blocking. I, okay. I never blocked anything in my life until I started knitting shawls. Right. So this is what I do. I have a le these little kids' play mats. I was going to say, isn't that the floor of a child's playroom? Yeah. Yeah. And I put them, I have, you know, like a pack of them, or two packs. We you do can, sell blocking mats. You can buy well, proper blocking mats yeah. and blocking pins and yeah. one thing and another. But this is the one, this is the difference. If you don't block anything, it goes like that. So it's all scrunched up and yeah. it doesn't look very nice. And it, it, the lacy bit, you don't really you put see it. put it down flat on the thing. On there. Hang and on. then with it being blocked, it makes it twice as big. Okay. And it so opens got the, it oh, all right. up. So those are exactly the same knitted there is, pieces. Yeah. If one on the left hasn't been blocked and one and on one the right has been. Hasn't makes been a blocked. world of difference, doesn't it? And it opens everything out. So when yeah. you see this Merlin's one, it sort of shrivels all up. But to open the arches out, I just stretch it right out, and I literally do stretch it. So if you're if if it's this big, you I, put a few of those together. I have a whole row of and, and double it up if I need to. But oh, okay. For the shawls, because it goes like wider, into yeah. wider, and I leave it just squirt it with. I just use one of these with water and squirt it over and leave okay. it overnight. So what I do is, I uh, just use ordinary pins. Right. 
and, and we just pin it out onto a, the board. And when I've done... Hannah's worried you're going to damage it. There. Right. And then I'll stretch it. <gasps> oh, I, my, I, so I proper do stretch. A proper stretch because it, if I do it just a bit, it doesn't... Yeah, can you stretch it out of shape completely if you're too rough with it? You, you've just got to be careful, but... Okay. But that's a proper, proper That's a stretch. proper stretch, but it, you, you can feel there's a lot of stretch in there. One, you know, because it's all shriveled up. You do, you can tell. Yeah. And then we just pin it out again at the bottom. And use as many pins as you want. But they're both cast, I've cast on the same amount of stitches, done the same amount of rows. And that's all I do like that. And put a couple down. So you do it once it's all finished then? When it's finished, I block yeah. it, yeah. So I just go down the sides. You can buy proper blocking pins and it'll give you a straight Yeah, we, we, we sell, sell them. We haven't sold out at the moment, but yeah. Well, that's all I do. I don't go. And then. So it does open it all out. Right. And then I just squirt it with my... Oh, so there's no heat. It just, just literally... Just it's lukewarm water. Or it yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. What it was. It. And I just squirt it like that. And give it a right good soak till it's quite wet. Yeah. And then I just... That's it. And that's it. And leave it for 24 hours. And then I take it off and it's like this. Wow. So when, you, when you've knitted one of these, so don't be disappointed if you're knitting this and it's like this. You can like feel it. If you, when you cast, cast it off, you'll notice the difference that how stretchy, it's still stretchy in that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's still stretchy. It's still stretchy now. But what I mean is don't be disappointed when you get to the end of it thinking, oh, mine doesn't look like Nicola's look. You need it's to. Because you haven't blocked you, it. You haven't blocked it. You, do, you don't have to block it, but it does open. Yeah, but then it's only going to be like that thin if you don't block yeah, it. Yeah, it does it? widen it and it makes it, it makes it a little bit longer and widens it. And Can it's you wash these? Hand wash only these ones. Yeah. The sock yarn is, my sock yarn is machine washable, yeah. but because it's 100% merino wool, it's hand wash only. Okay, and do you have to re-block it after you've washed it? Does it I've, shrink back? I've never really, I've not. You've never washed one? <laughs> I've never, no, because you've got my lace whip. You are? You've got my scarf, so I've never, oh, okay. I've never, I never wear them, say. <laughs> well, I'll have to try that out, wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're gorgeous, aren't they? But that, I just, that's, you know, you do notice the difference by not blocking it. It really bunishes it up. Yeah, but yeah, it well, opens the that, lace yeah. pattern so much. Because I never used to block anything. How fun. And now do you block everything or only your shawls and your scarves? Only my shawls and my scarves. I won't be blocking my cardigan for the next one. <laughs> it's too big. Why? What is it? I've got a cardigan for the next year. Oh, yeah. I've got, I'm using one of the new yarns here. We're doing a... <laughs> A little jumper, okay. a little three quart sleeve jumper, and then there's two baby blankets and a baby car. Blimey, how many shows are you doing? <laughs> and I don't know we're not going to get them all done. Um, early May. Oh, ooh, okay. Better get knitting then, haven't you? I've got the cardigan three quarters done. I've got I'm on me. Uh, I've got half of the back done and two fronts done and half of the sleeve done. So we're getting there. Oh no! Um, Stuart says I uh, block my crochet snowflakes for the tree when oh, I do yes. that, and they're I spray lovely. starch. They stiffen too. Yeah, they look lovely because um, they'll be very fine thread for crochet snowflakes. Yeah. And they look lovely up front. Do you, do you only do knitting or do you do crochet? I can crochet, but... But it's I've, not with your business. It's more knitting. I'm, I've, I've got a crochet pattern I'm going to publish very, very soon. Oh. But I haven't got round to typing it all up because every time I think of doing something, I end up doing three more patterns for the show and three more different colourways. And then I start knitting something else and I don't get round to it. I suppose it. if you're designing, writing up patterns it's and dyeing tip. and doing it's, everything, it's, it's all... Time consuming. Because you are a little cottage industry. It's not like you've got a big factory behind your house, no. is it? No. It's just you it's, and... Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but right. no, it's time consuming writing all the patterns up and then, of course, and then yeah. you forget to miss you miss the star out and then you start seeing things and then my daughter will say, oh, sir, can you just edit that one, put a star in? I thought you'd oh, check it and no. then you you know you realise afterwards. Oh, oh so it's, it's this daughter here? Yeah, she's like she'll checks it all over for me, my daughter. Oh. So So she a knitter knitter? No. Oh, she just checks them. She checks them. Oh. She does. She's knitted a scarf when she was very, very tiny. I used to, we used to, I used to learn her to knit, but then she didn't like it. Yeah. And then one day she wanted to knit, and I said, "Oh, I'm not going down there again with her." And he, <laughs> he said to me, "Oh, just have a go with her." And we'd knit a scarf for her 
uh, uh, Teddy that's ones, and that's as that's far it. as you get. That's yeah. it. But I do crochet, and I have got a crochet curl pattern I need to type up. But I just, it's fine. I'd like to just hand it to somebody and say, type that yeah, up exactly. for me. Maybe you will do when the, when your business builds even more. When so you now never you told me earlier when you came, you've got a website now. I've got a website now. And what's it called? Twinknits.co.uk. Perfect. And have you got any yarn shows to go to? Because last thing you hear, we were talking about oh, yarn shows. Yes, the yarn show should have been this weekend and it's been cancelled again. Oh, so it's postponed, po postponed. Yeah, they are doing it online over the weekend, oh, okay. the whole weekend. Yeah. But yes, so whether it'll go ahead this year, I don't know. But it would have been my first one last year. Oh. But you just don't know. So if people go online to watch it, what kind of things? Like, how will it, how They'll will find everything on there. Yeah. They, they, it's crochet knitting everything and what's that one called then? spring into wool that's it spring into wool. but oh. no so i've opened the website after last time yeah, well, with, with the help of everybody else oh it's uh, frightening though isn't it because i opened it, I, my website you can't buy from my website but just making a website so it's passing it itself, isn't it? the patterns across to somebody and somebody putting them on and somebody cropping them and somebody taking little bits out yeah. and it's just time, uh, time consuming again but we actually opened it last saturday and we managed to get it live last oh. saturday and all the patterns on for the shawl kits are on there so and they're instant downloads because people are getting a bit confused with buying instant downloads i've had to do it a bit different because on ecstasy where i sell them it's always instant downloads but everybody wants some postage i don't see any addresses for posting on we there. post them here we post them. we post them i don't on there i don't see any addresses for posting so i presume they've downloaded it and a lot weren't downloading them and oh, i was having to send it no. and i send them in a hard back envelope because they're just postmen just they'll just get bent yeah of course so now on the website what we've done is we've got two sections one with instant downloads so they download it at their end to print off and then we have the other side where they can print right. them off print and post so they get charged postage for the hard back envelope yeah. to go in the post good but we've got there's all sorts of you're on there really and hopefully over the weeks, we'll get a bit more yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, get bigger and bigger. Right, okay, shall we talk about some world exclusives? Oh, yes. Now, before we show them, what are their four ply? Their four ply. So what do you use them for? Your socks. So, oh, they've got 25% nylon in yes, them? Yes, they have. But I use it for my willow shawl. The nylon is very hard wearing. I'm knitting the cardigan for the next show. Oh, knit. okay, so you can use them for normal knitting, knitting as well. Knitting and jumpers and you name it you can actually obviously when, when you buy a pattern you need to look at it if it says four ply then this is perfect it's perfect that. yeah everything is four ply so right don't get any out have you got a favorite have you got a favorite hannah i know which is hannah's favorite it's very loud uh, <laughs> <laughs> what she is, all no, it don't, is. Don't. so which one are we going to first okay you ready Right, okay, on the website there's a picture of two or three, right? You only get one. one. I say you only get one. This is like bubble gum. It's be this it's is what lovely, bubble gum ice cream looks it's like. It's very sprinkly, this one. So what would that look like knitted up then? I've not knitted this one. I haven't had, I just, uh, I'm hoping eventually to have little samples of, of every each one. one. But because the lace weight takes me like over a week to knit, a willow shawl will take me for sight one day and usually can have it finished the next, depending what I'm doing. Yeah. I can have it done, but the lace weight takes me seven days solid oh, to knit. Oh, wow. But the sprinkles, it's very sprinkly, this okay, one. Okay, so it's hand-dyed sock yarn. It's four plates, 80% merino wool, 20% nylon, which is really important if you're doing socks, isn't it? it? You have it, to have it, the nylon in to you, do You socks. do, otherwise it's not hard wearing your wear So this it. is a 100 gram ball and it's called sprinkles. What could you obviously not make a cardigan or a jump out of one? Ball, no, you'll need you? at least four or five for a cardigan for Hannah, probably. Yeah, and what could I make out of one then? If I just bought one of you those, you can make knit, knit the willow shawl out of one of these. Okay. I bring any shawls I've brought, you, you know, Hannah the wants a hat. Hannah wants a beanie. Hat. I've got a, f a hat pattern at home, I haven't typed it she up. She can't yet. knit, so don't worry, but can she's she just not? thinking she looks. <laughs> so look, things I have got nice. a hat pattern at home. I need to type up which is far, far ply. Oh, there you go. Now but let's have a look at it open then. It's very, look it's very, very, very sprinkly. And you've this got one. every colour going. There. We've got yellows, pinks, blues, and then the colours merge together to give you the greens. And then there's cream. But we've got it's it's very loud. This one. That, I love it. I love it. I just can't. I don't because like I'm so confused as when you knit these up. They don't. They don't like this one. <laughs> You know what I mean? That yeah. one knits up completely I different. I think this like might knit ball. similar to that raindrops one. Oh, do you? I, but but a with bit more, more colours. With a bit more colours. I think yeah. it'll knit maybe splodges about. That's what I, I'm thinking. I could be totally wrong. Yeah. Well, but, I, Hannah, you'd have to buy a ball and knit something up for a sample. 
don't know. It's very, very, very loud, this one. Um, okay, so we love that one. We love that. It's called Sprinkles. And it's 22 99 You get one of those, which is... Uh, 400 meters, 100 grams. So if you've got a pattern that tells you how much, because patterns will tell you how much it tells you. Need, you. Don't you. And there's 400 meters, because if you're buying a pattern elsewhere, if you look at that wool, it'll have how much meterage is on, oh, okay. on that particular wool for that pattern. So mine, take, mine is 400 meters, so theirs might be 350. So you might need two if you're doing a, a yeah, pattern glove set or a cowl or something it's like buying when you buy your fabric if you buy different yeah. sides you need different amounts you of fabric, have to sort you? of work it out that's what i've had to do for the next show we've had to work all the because oh, we're doing blimey. they're not my patterns but we've had to work all the meterage out for you for your wool for my wool yeah. so that because yeah. it's going to be bundles beautiful absolutely but it's gorgeous, very it? 22.99 for that right where are we go next then mm -hmm. which one should i do which one would you like to do next the you pick the herb garden okay herb garden I, I, Going to do a jumper in this one, so we will see this knitted up next Oh, brilliant. Time. Oh, these are now, it looks like you've got dip and sprinkles in this we one. We have. Oh. So again, it's exactly the same. I've got some of your hair in this one. <laughs> this is called Herb Garden. Again, it's hand-dyed sock yarn, four-ply, 80% merino, 20% nylon, 400 metres, 100 grams. Let's have a look at it open. Then. It's really, really, it's very nice, this oh, one. Oh, that's lovely. It's I can there's some red in there as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. It doesn't look red in mine, but when you look at yours, that looks red. Brown. Oh, is it brown? Could be brown. Oh, you want to borrow my glasses? <laughs> but now you I'm see, I think there's red in there. I think, you're, I think someone threw a few red sprinkles in when you weren't looking. Because it's got brown, it's got gold, gold. it's got like wheat <laughs> colours, and then a little bit of red, red in mine. But I'm doing a three-quarter sleeve jumper with this one, so we'll, we'll see this knitted. Oh, okay, this is the most I popular get, one so far as well. If I get a chance, I'm hoping to have something knitted. On this one for the next show. Teddy loves the loud foreplay, the Hannah one, but this is the most popular one so far. It is beautiful though. I'm sure, I'm sure as a knitters, you can, I because I don't knit, I can't imagine it. You see, like that Minton mm. Apple one, I would never have believed that that would look like that yeah. when it was knitted up. Do you know what I mean? So you as knitters will know what it looks like to to um, knit these up. Oh, beautiful herb garden. That one's called. Okay, lots of that one in baskets. Oh, yeah, because you need to go and check your pattern. Don't <laughs> check out till you've checked your pattern. Right, I love this, this one. This one. I'm surprised. This is called Plum Jam, this one. I think this is just beautiful. Look at the colours in there. Lovely so, oh, there's some bright yellow in yours. There's oh, there's in mine as well. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, it's fire. very um, like countryside, isn't it? Like flowers you'd find in, you know, kind of the hedgerows and things like that. So that's not all sprinkles, is no, it? No, it's a twist, twisted one twisted and one. then sprinkles on it. I don't know. And how do you, how did you go in in the morning thinking, oh, I'm going to make a purple and yellow one today? Or do you go in and think, Oh, what shall I dip it in? Oh, I'll do some purple. What would go nice? Oh, there's some of that buttercup one there. I'll have that one. No, we don't have a plan any day. Any day is <laughs> different. We just, if we're doing something, we need to top up our stock, then we'll start on them. And yes, then yeah. I've been trying to do different ones now because a lot of, some of, you know, keep it fresh, that some of them from last year, I've sort of, not doing them yeah yeah, yeah the yeah. favorite ones we'll hmm. still do of but course. the ones what don't sell as good as what you might yeah. only sell one or two okay so what happens if somebody says oh i've got this outfit and i need a cardigan i need sage green and purple and yellow in it i'm quite happy to die. we're quite happy to dye it they just need to send us pictures yeah, of what yeah, they yeah. Want. Oh, we usually just say can you send us a picture and we'll dye it to oh, try and match to what yeah, they yeah, want yeah. well obviously it's just going to be what where you take it to, but how brilliant is that yeah. I wonder if costume designers know about that because sometimes they need wool of a certain colour yeah. for different things. All we, we all we need is a picture. Somebody will say, can you just do it this colour? And we try and match it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Very, I mean, considering it's just done by the internet and they don't actually send us it, we try and get it as close as possible. And most of the time, they're quite, it, it does work. Yeah. But oh, I think those colours. What can you, can you remember what colour that is there? Because it's a beautiful colour. I know we've you've called it plum. Oh, it's plum. It might be plum. <laughs> well, it would be if it's plum jam, I suppose, wouldn't it? It it's such plum. a gorgeous colour, that. It's not quite aubergine, but yeah, plum's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Brand new, that is today. So oh, the yes. three, four, the, now remember, these are four plies I'm showing you of these. They're not the lace weight that we've made the, the scarves out of. These are your four plies today. 
Oh, hang on, Teddy's getting very excited. Uh, some of us don't need to check our patterns before buying, John. We're not, hang on, we're just stash building, not buying for a specific project. Yeah, but Teddy, wouldn't it be awful if you bought two of those, right? And then you, in, in three weeks' time, you thought, oh, I'm going to use that, and then you needed three balls of it, and we hadn't got it. Check your patterns, Teddy. Check your patterns. Mind you, Teddy, Teddy makes clothes for dolls. So he might not, he might only need half a one, won't he? <laughs> they help you. There's three new ones today. Sorry, I've put them all together. You don't get all three of those. You either get your um, it's not called bubble gum, it's called sprinkles, sprinkles, herb garden, or plum jam. They're four ply. Yes. Plum jam has gone into the lead. Oh. <laughs> I have to say I love I think they're all lovely. They are they're all very nice. different. Mm, they're very different. I mean I wanted something, you know, like for spring, this why we've done this one. I've got a couple of other ones what we've tried yeah. to do for spring. But we just set off the day just doing whatever we just I'm desperate to see this knitted up. I know what I'm gonna do. How much is it how much is this? Twenty two ninety nine. I might buy one of those and then I'll send it to my friend Stuart and get him to knit something out of it and see what they look like. Oh, that'd anyway, be nice. put those to one side because I've got to recap the scarves now. So the brand new scarves from today. Morelands. Morelands is this one, is about to sell out. And this was your, you said, this is my favourite. We always have favorite. a favourite. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there are more people got that in their baskets than are available. So I'm going to put that one away down there. Now, Sundown next, which is this one. So this one here, you get your Peach Melba. No, Peach Sorbet, sorry. Peach Sorbet. Can't even speak. <laughs> peach Sorbet, right? You get your wool. Now, this is Merino wool, 100% lace weight. Lace weight, right? You get the pattern, you get the yarn, and you get that lovely organza bag that comes in. You don't sit and make these, do you? The organza No, bags. no, 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 I, I buy them in. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Oh. Um, anyway, you get the, everything you need there um, to make this. Have a look at it on the stand. It's lovely, isn't it? Such a lovely knit. So that's like the teapot. If you saw the teapot show a while back, that's mock cable. Mock cable. Mock cable. Mock cable. Okay, so that one goes in there. And the last new one, I don't know why I'm putting the scarf inside the bag because it's obvious which one's which one. Raindrops and Roses. Now, remember, I've got another one called Raindrops coming up later. This is Raindrops and Roses. Whiskers on kitten. <laughs> copper kettles, warm woolen mittens. I love this. I love the fact that this has got, like, the, the, the spiders wear points going down the side of it. They must have, they must have a proper terminology. Can you, can you see that on there? Uh, how much has gone? Third, the stock of these has gone when you've all checked out. And that's this. This is dip dyed apple green and your pink. And your instructions there. Now that one's more of a formal knit, isn't it? You've got a rib, and then mm. you've got your lace work, and then you've got your um, yarn overs for that one. Yarn overs, they are. Of course, one. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> so the yarn overs cause those cause those holes. Yes. They're not called holes. I'm they're sure. not holes, but they look like holes. Yes. So that's how you do it when you're doing a yarn over. That's a yarn you over. A... Do you sometimes do two yarn overs, or you never do two yarn overs? No, because that make a really big hole. I've got. Um, I do have a shawl kit. Um, I teamed up with somebody to design me a pattern and it's wound twice around the needle and it's like that and it's huge shawl. It's really so it's a bit like cobwebby, gothy, gothy Yes, gothic yes it is. Thing, yeah. yeah. Got it. Got, I'm with you. Right, <laughs> in the, now the ones that we brought back, the favourites that we brought back from last time. Apple mint. This. Very, very popular, this one. I'm not surprised. I think that's a lovely pattern that, on that one. Nine of those left, that's all. Nine left. So again, you get the pattern, you get the wool. This is the lace weight wool, remember? Or lace weight wool. Plus, oh look, I've wrecked your pattern. There. <laughs> Shoot. This is why. I get, oh no, I don't get my own in these, do I? Because this is why I get given my own normally, so I don't crease the ones that are in no, the pattern. No, I, I hadn't. I did bring them last time, but I not, didn't bring them yeah. this time for them. Beautiful. Okay, moving on. I don't believe that an hour's gone already. I'm just getting into this. An hour's gone already. Next. Next. That's you, Hannah. Vintage lace. Oh, the vintage lace. Which mm. is this called Village Garden, apparently. Cottage, Cottage garden, garden, even, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I'm getting confused. Right, this is beautiful. Again, 
Now this one's got the pink and the cream and then the splodges of grey and brown in there. Made it sound so attractive, didn't I, when saying it like that? But it knits up beautifully like that. It's very fine. It is very fine. Now there's lots of yarn overs in there, aren't there? There is. Six. <gasps> it's my new terminology <laughs> now. No, now I know what that is. And you knit two togethers as well. You what? There's knit, you do, knit two togethers on that one. So you're doing knit two together three times at the beginning. Yeah. And then you're doing yarn over, knit one six times. Yeah. And then you do your next bit, because that's your little holy bit. Then yeah. the little, like, your Scalloped. other bit. Scalloped. Scalloped, that's it. You do your knit two together six times, and then you, you carry on doing, repeating the row. But if you knit two together, doesn't that make it shorter? No, but you're increasing one on the one before. Oh, okay. you're doing your oh, yarn, you're over. yarn over. Of course, so you're increasing of course. one, but you're taking it off on the next. Got it. So Got it's it. like little. Right, scallops. and this one, which the Lemon Blossom is the name of the light lace weight yarn, but the pattern is called Raindrops. <laughs> Not Raindrops and Rosie Sam, I don't see that. <laughs> now that there, they're like a regular. You know what I mean? It's regular yarn overs, isn't it, on that one? Mm. I know, I'm going to use that all the time now. We say yarn over. I'm, we haven't got yarn laid tomorrow, but I'll get yarn, <laughs> yarn over somewhere into it tomorrow. Oh, Stitch oh. markers. Oh. Nine left. That well, Nine sets of three left. There's nine sets of three left. So you do get three. They're completely random. I can't tell you which colours you're going to get, but there's loads and loads of different colours. They're so cute, aren't they? But there's only, uh, what'd you say, nine left. Beautiful. Right, very quickly, have I got time to recap the, um, the four plays? Oh, yeah, very quickly. Four play. Plum Jam, suppose favourite. This is four ply, remember. Merino wool and nylon. Uh, 400 metres, 100 grams. Oh, she's packing away over there already. She's eager to go. <laughs> no. 22, 19. You, on the website, there's a picture of more than one. You only get one ball, obviously. <laughs> Next one. Herb Garden. Oh, Hannah's, Hannah's is the least favourite. Oh. I think that's because they, people are, are frightened about what it's going to knit up on. I'll get it knitted up and then you'll love it. Oh, apparently Teddy's a natural. Oh, no, a maverick. A maverick, not a natural. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> right, and last but not least, last but not least, we've got to go, got to go, got to go. Uh, this one's called Sprinkles. 22 99 just get the one. Now, Yarn Lane is back on, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Monday. Is it? That's me. I'm in on Monday. Mm -hmm. What am I doing on Monday? Yeah, Yarn Lane, yeah. <laughs> Oh, got some new books in the kit recap. Anyway, Nicola, thank you so much for coming uh, to see you. us. Have a lovely rest of your day because I know what you're up to. <laughs> and um, I'll see you tomorrow morning on Sewing Street. And Yarn Lane, if you just watch Yarn Lane, I'll be back on Monday at 12 o'clock. Thank you for your company. Remember to check out your baskets and we will see you very, very soon.